And, and the other, the second thing is the uh, private review of write API. Uh, so now you can uh, directly push data in, into Pinot. Uh, previously, you could only pull data from other sources like Kafka, Kafka NSV. So now you can simply do a HTTP call to push data in real time in a, to, to Pinot. All right. Um, so with that, let me show you. Uh, so in, in the in the demo section, we'll actually go through this flow, right? We'll sign up with a, a new user who gets assigned to a workspace, and then we can go, I'll go through some of the features that I, that I described uh, before. Uh, so for the demo, this is, this is for the demo only. I'm using a dummy account uh, from this. Let me go ahead and, and sign up. So I go to Start Eater Cloud. Uh, a pretty simple sign up form. So now I should expect uh, uh, the, an, an invite uh, email uh, from Sartre. And you can, you can basically just confirm your email and get your hands on uh, onto the Sartre workspace. So now, as you saw, there was some seconds difference between you registering a new account and a workspace being assigned to you. So this workspace is now dedicated to this particular user. Other users are not obviously going to see any, anything. Uh, they're completely isolated from, from others. Uh, and you, I recommend trying this out on your own, uh, of course. But let me go through a sample workflow uh, right now. So let me first, now that we have a new workspace, let me start with ingesting some data. Uh, into into this, uh, and it, it, the, the UI will guide you through some of the things um, that are new to Data Manager. So let me start very simple. Uh, uh, in Data Manager, you can either ingest data from external sources like Kafka. Uh, for this particular demo, I'll just use a, a demo data set that we ship along with the product. So let's say I want to take the complex website and then create it. <clears throat> and then I can go and query it in, in the new query console, like so. Right, so pretty straightforward. This was a small file, so the ingestion was, was pretty instant. The other thing I could do with, uh, with the new trial uh, is I can also invite some team members. So in this case, I'm going to invite uh, uh, my colleague Neha here. Uh, from her email. So let's say we have another email, like so. Uh, and this is pretty powerful, right? So for especially for new uh, development, you this this makes the whole experience very collaborative. So you're, you can create data sets, and then uh, any of your team members can just join the same same workspace uh, and and get started. So while while she's so she'll go through the same flow as I did, uh, except. The, the sign up with her new email, uh, accept the invite. Uh, while that's happening, let me also uh, show you another uh, ingestion flow here. So let me go back to, in this case now, let's pick Kafka as, as the source. Um, so when you sign up to a new workspace, we automatically create a, a demo Kafka connection with some sample data in there. So you're ready to go. Uh, you can start ingesting from Kafka without bringing bringing your own data. So these, uh, in this case, we are actually pulling uh, events from GitHub and pushing it into Kafka at, at, a, in a, at some sampling rate. So you can you can actually analyze GitHub events in in Pino in in real time. And as you can see, it's already populating some of the auto populating the topics that exist in in uh, in our Kafka cluster that's running behind. All right, so, so the first thing it will do is just sample. Uh, sampling data is important, so it can tell you from your data source, uh, just sample a few records, and then we can do our data modeling based, based on this, this sample data. 
So this is the second step, which is the data modeling. Uh, you can, you know, it, uh, Pino, the Star Tree has automatically inferred Pino schema based on the schema it detected from your original Kafka topic. Uh, and you can extend this. So these are the columns that existed already in Kafka. We can also add new columns and so on. And as I mentioned, uh, we, we automatically also infer the time column. Uh, in this case, I'm using merge time milliseconds uh, and then start creating the, the actual table. You can do things like add indexes or change encoding of a particular column uh, and so on and so forth, uh, including things like replication factor, retention, and so on. So for now, I'll just skip over all of that, uh, do a final preview uh, of this data. And this is all live, right? This is actually connecting to, to Kafka and then creating the data set in, in, in Pino. All right, so now the table is set up. Uh, I can go back to my query console and now query the GitHub events. And these are live events that, that we are seeing from, from GitHub. So at this point, I'll, I'll switch over to the invited user. Uh, so let me go uh, log out from my workspace. OK, and over to you. So now she's going to sign in as the invited user, and then she can continue the workflow. Oh, it's already copied. You can just paste. New laptop, new shortcut. <laughs> All right. Cool. So you can see that uh, Chinmay invited me. We can like look here. Uh, the Below one was Chinmay, and now I'm in this workspace as well. We can go to uh, Data Manager, and I'm seeing the same workspace view. So I'm going to move on to just talking about what we're doing uh, under the hood, how everything is working out, talk about the new concept that we've introduced, uh, the workspace.